welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the weekly tarot reading for July 8th to the 15th for the sign of Gemini. All right, beautiful Geminis, our air signs. We're going to get right into it and pull out your two cards. And if you're regular, you know, and for those of you who aren't regulars, you're just breezing through, surfing the channel today. Um, my weekly readings hone in on whatever relationship is taking center stage this week, whatever dynamic um, is going to be uh, your main focus this week. Now, that could be to do with friends, family, work, lovers. doesn't really necessarily have to be a romantic um, affair, right? But whatever dynamic relationship encounter person that you're dealing with this week that's taking most of your energy or focus we're going to try to hone in on that and get some clarity so let's get your two cards out first gemini all right let's start off your first card new love Ooh, somebody's got a new love and attraction wow beautiful New love and attraction, so, I mean, right? It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> so, let's see what that all means. We won't know exactly until we get into your cards. I mean, I could sit here and guess, <laughs> but there's so many different ways that this could factor in. And, of course, until we lay out your cards and get right into the reading, we won't know. So, let's just see what's going on with our lovely Geminis. Certainly with new love and attraction coming in. What's the exact dynamic going on here? All right, let's see. Show me. You want affirmations, reaffirmations, warning signs, things to look out for, pay attention to for a lovely sign of Gemini. Sign of the twins, air sign. Show me. Your major card for your relationship this week is Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles comes out so much most recently. I mean, she is really on deck. And I mean, that shows you that a lot of people have been working for a long time to reach their goals and their dreams. You know, we're really highlighting, certainly um, those of you out there who have really put your blood, sweat, and tears into an endeavor and a lot of the abundance or wealth or status that you have, you've certainly worked for. Nine of Pentacles, very close to Queen of Pentacles. It's your card for you. You have a tower card for your person. Interesting. Wow. This new, this new love is definitely um, throwing your world for a loop, right? And the fool for your relationship. Ah, beautiful. Your person has the magician for themselves, temperance for you, <laughs> and lovers for the relationship. Yes, this is certainly about love. Justice is coming in. So justice could be all about, um, certainly could be about documents, paperwork, decisions coming in, etc., etc. Could be waiting right now for um, some kind of, legal issue to close up right some of you may be maybe you've gone through a divorce you're waiting for the settlement papers right so justice certainly usually indicates some sort of uh, official kind of notification communication agreement document paperwork right that kind of settles two issues right certainly um and it's very literal in that way right but justice does usually come in at, like Justice is as justice does, if you know what I mean. So the thing is, is that when justice comes up, it's usually because, you know, you deserve something, a positive, right? It's not like you're being cheated in any way. Justice in this case is fair, right? And so you're getting what you deserve in as much as, you know, uh, what you've been waiting for, perhaps, an answer that you've been waiting for, right? If you're in the right, you will get... Um, the decision to go your way, right? So, as I said, Queen of Pentacles is in there as a center, uh, as a main card for for this dynamic. So certainly, 
Queen of Pentacles is very protective. Um, she's worked very hard for her money, her status, her abundance. She's not in any danger of losing it anytime soon because she did take so much time to gain it, right? Um, she's very confident. She's very patient. She's very methodical. Uh, she's a she's an industrious woman. She knows that she knows that you know. It takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to achieve your goals. She nurtures her goals. She understands the meaning of nurturing your goals, right? Nurturing your dreams, right? Um, she even looks at the pentacle on her lap almost as if it's her baby, right? She has so much love for the things for the I want to say the things that she's produced in a way. Say for instance, if you've started a business, you know, you built that business up brick by brick, you have a certain love for the business, right? Oftentimes people talk about their businesses or their projects as their babies, right? So she very much understands the need to nurture something for it to grow. And I think this queen of pentacles is very much your energy, Gemini, this week. You know, you're, you, you've been buckling down to work, you, you know, you, you've achieved a certain amount of status, uh, in your life, you've achieved a certain amount of abundance that you've worked very hard for. And I think um, this side of you has a lot to do with this new love. It could be that you've met your person through work or your career, or your passions in some way, right? Um, it could also be that as a result, simply of who you are, the type of energy that you emit, that hard working kind of energy um it's just really drawn someone in certainly with attraction on deck it's the law of attraction right and and your qualities your integrity your hard working uh your hard working sort of um focus right uh the ability to kind of like discipline yourself and get down to it the understanding of what it takes to accomplish something great. All of these qualities inside of you, I think, is what you are emitting, which is drawing someone, drawing your new love to you. You certainly feel Nine of Pentacles. You understand this about yourself. You see that you've achieved a certain amount of abundance, right? But you do see yourself alone in the garden. And Nine of Pentacles does talk about how we can, uh, we can achieve a certain amount of abundance and the luxury and status in our lives. But if we are alone, if we're alone in our garden, um, you know, how happy can we be? Is that really truly our goal? It can also indicate that sometimes when you do ex um, achieve a certain level of status or monetary gain, it can isolate you from others. It can separate you from your loved ones and your friends, right? Certainly not everyone can follow where you go. Um, you know, if your friends are at a certain financial level and you somehow have surpassed that, you know, through, through whatever means, you know, through your own hard work, it's not to say that anyone's judging anyone, but it's difficult when somebody's making a certain amount of money to keep up with somebody who may be making two or three times as much, right? So it's very much this idea of being alienated almost by your own success. And I think that you're maybe feeling that lately. You maybe been thinking about that you know, realizing that you've uh, achieved a certain amount, but are you being alienated? Are you being kept from being close with individuals, being close with people, being close possibly with a new lover? So you're contemplating a lot of those issues this week, certainly thinking about where you want to be in life with regard to your status and sharing it, your money and abundance and sharing it with someone. But this person that you've met, who I do believe is new, right? has thrown your world upside down. They've thrown your world absolutely upside down. You've completely fallen head over heels for them. This is certainly a new love. But not only have you fallen for them, them coming into your life has completely disrupted every part of your life, physically, emotionally, mentally. There's a huge amount of attraction here, right? And you see almost meeting this person has almost torn down a lot of the ideas that you've had about yourself, about life. Right, it could be very much that you've held on to a certain kind of, per, certain kind of idea of the type of person that you should be with, or the type of lover you should have, and this person totally blows that idea out of the water, because maybe they don't fit into that. Yet you are absolutely drawn to them, completely attracted to them. You feel extremely romantic around that. Certainly feel like you're falling in love. 
Um, the fool is showing up for your relationship. So this is definitely a new relationship. But a relationship that's almost taking your life into a whole new chapter. Right? The fool always represents the quarant showing up in their own reading. So if you're in Aries, I'm doing reading for Aries and Emperor shows up. We often will, readers will often say, here you are showing up in your own reading because the Emperor card has come out. The fool is always representative of the quarant or the person that you're reading for. Because we are all fools ascending and descending the tree of life, which is what which is the theology that I read my cards based on, right? I'm, I'm more of a traditionalist in the sense of following the Kabbalistic mysticism and tree of life um, theology that the tarot is based on. And in, and in that theology, the fool is you, the fool is the quarant, you know, that, that kind of goes from, uh, from one zifferuff to the next in the tree of life, the zifferuff or the ten, 10 points on the tree of life, okay? Starting from 1 to 10. Interestingly enough, the fool is 0. So when you add the fool to the 1, it becomes the 10. And in this way, the fool is always you. It's always showing you where you're at in your life path, where are you at in your tree of life, right? Oftentimes, the fool shows up exactly when a new chapter is about to begin. However, it's the indication that you have to pay attention right now. Be very conscious. Be very in the moment. Be aware of what's going on right now in your life and pay attention to everything because right now you're going into a whole new chapter and one that was very much preordained, predestined in a way, um, one that has a huge amount of significance on your, uh, on your karmic cycle, your life cycle, your spiritual cycle. So whenever the fool shows up, it certainly indicates a new chapter, a new segment in your life turning left or right along your path, but also the, the, um, the, the um, interpretation or the advice here. So be very, very conscious of this moment because it's in being conscious in this moment of what's happening that you learn a lot. You gain a lot of wisdom. Your person sees themselves as the, as the magician, so they're doing very well right now. I think that this is why they're drawn to you as well. You've clearly shown the ability to manifest um, your dreams and your goals. You're a real go-getter, Gemini. You're a real manifester in your own way. And this person can, this individual can empathize. They can relate with you because they themselves are a master manifester being a magician. They certainly see themselves as that. I believe this person is quite genuine. I don't think this person is necessarily a phony or a fake. I mean, it seems to suggest that um, at least the intuitive feeling of this reading is, is that they are very genuine in their feelings. They are genuinely a manifester in the sense that they know how to make things happen. They, they are a bit of a mover and a shaker. And they, and, and they are just as attracted to you because they see that you two are like-minded. Both very hard working, both movers and shakers in their own right. And um, very much feeling uh, confident, powerful, right? And so like attracts like, and certainly your person is attracted to all of that in you, just as I believe you are attracted to that in them, okay? Temperance is coming in as their card for you. So they see you, um, they see you as somebody who's very tempered. You know, they see you as as embodying this, right? And I think this is one of the things they absolutely adore about you. They see how mature you are, Gemini. They see how you temper your emotions, how you conduct yourself. The dominion that you have over yourself is what they are truly attracted to. I believe they're extremely impressed with that. They see this relationship as lovers as a love connection a real new love a real attraction a harmonious connection six being the number of journeys to harmony so six major uh major arcana six is lovers because it's when two people come together and agree that their common goal agree on a common goal when two people come together and are attracted and also able to agree on a common goal for their lives right a common objective even if the Literal objective is not the same, but a common spiritual or emotional objective, then they have agreed to work or to travel in harmony with each other, always traveling towards harmony. It's one of the basis for a stable, loving, enduring relationship. Okay, this person feels very much like they've met a kindred spirit. 
You are feeling extremely excited to be with them because they've just thrown your whole world upside down with excitement and emotions. It's almost as if you're 16 again, right? This is a very, very fresh kind of love. Um, I want to say there's a lot of passion involved here. Certainly this is new. If this is, uh, you know, within the last few weeks, maybe month at the longest, if it hasn't come in already, it should be coming in this week as this is a weekly reading for Taurus. But this is an absolutely beautiful new kind of love, right? They love you because of your ability to temper your emotions and the way you um, move in the crowd and how you're able to handle yourself socially and adapt and adapt yourself, right, easily to who you're speaking to and what vibe it is. That's all what temperance is about. And you are just completely blown away by their abilities, their strength, their integrity, right? And them coming into your life has totally upset your whole cart, your whole life, your whole kind of like, you see them as someone, as almost like, um, uh, almost as a like a conduit for, for over overwhelming transformation in your life. You can see very much that being with this person is going to, excuse me, is going to change your life on a physical, emotional, spiritual level, on all levels, right? Certainly meeting this person, I believe this person may be somebody that you're not used, the type of person you're not used to being attracted to, or perhaps you're not used to having this type of person attracted to you. But whatever the case may be, coming together, this attraction, this love is absolutely just shaking your whole world to its foundations. And But you're here for it in a very positive way. You're here for it and you're ready to take a leap of faith with this individual. You know you're about to start a whole new chapter. And they're here for it as well. So this is beautiful. This week, it's all about coming together, having conversations, being around each other. You may not have actually come together just yet and agreed on a relationship, but I think certainly this week, you guys will be around each other. The attraction will be there, right? And the, and the inklings of a new relationship, or at least the inklings of letting each other know how you feel about each other will begin this week. All right? I'm going to keep it... Uh, Short and sweet and simple. It's it's very straightforward. This is a love reading for you, Gemini. You've got a new love coming in. And you've got a love coming in that is absolutely compatible with yours. You both have very much the same kind of energy. You're very copacetic, right? Um, this could very well be a great harmonious relationship. Um, but we'll have to see what happens, right? Let's tune in next week and see what next week's reading is. But for right now, if this resonated with you, Gemini, please like, subscribe. Help me grow my channel. Comment down below, sound off, so we can all, you know, let's share some of these stories. If you've met somebody new this week, share your story because, um, you know, stories of new love are always inspirational for anyone, you know? So... I'd love to hear from you. If you want to get a private reading, if you've met somebody, you want to get a little bit deeper into these energies and see what's really going on, follow that link at the bottom of your screen and you can schedule a uh, private reading with me um, up to seven days in advance. All right, folks, but for right now, I'm just going to tell you, Gemini, I'm almost jealous. You got a hot new love on the horizon. Bye-bye.